Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today we're gonna to do something just a little bit different. Um, I was noticing that my house is getting so incredibly cluttered and a lot of the clutter is fishing tackle because I have a bit of a problem. Anytime I go to a sporting goods store, a Walmart, you name it, I always buy a bunch of tackle that I don't need because I've got plenty already. So I have like a ton of baits that are just sitting in a tackle box that sometimes I've, I may have used once and then never used again, or I may have bought it and had, I was like, I'm gonna use this lure a lot. And then I just don't have a lot of faith in the color and then it just sits in the back. And so I've got all of this surplus tackle that I don't ever use. So today's episode, I'm gonna dig in the back of that tackle box with all the surplus tackle, pull out a couple baits, put them to the test, see if we can catch some fish on them and mainly just get rid of some of these mostly soft plastics. I got a lot of soft plastics that I need to get rid of. And a little segment that I'd like to call Forgotten Lures. This is a big one. This is a big old fish right here, bud. This is a big fish, guys. This is a big one, guys. Look at him! <laughs> yes! Hey guys. Man, that's a nice fish. Figures I don't have my scale with me. But that's a nice fish. Uh, let's put him on the bump board. He's only 18 and a half inches, but man, he is stout though. Absolutely stout. But well, we've had them out long enough. Let's get them back in the water. And now it's time for <laughs> Tackle Roundup. All right, guys, this is the bait that I'm using. Um, I got a lot of these. I have no clue what the manufacturer is. I have no clue what the name of the color is. I know nothing about it other than it's just been sitting in a bag like in, in the bottom of my tackle box forever. It's basically just a very small blue with blue flake french fry style finesse bait. That's all I know about it. It's a finesse uh, french fry style bait. And I would say that, you know, there's probably somebody out there that's really smart that knows what, that, that we could identify it. But I got to level with you. This thing is probably 20 years old. So, um, I whatever manufacturer it is, it's probably not being manufactured anymore. But that's what I'm using today. And uh, let's see if we can get some more fish. And that concludes today's <laughs> Tackle Roundup. Nice one. This looks like a nice one. Yeah! Heck 
Yeah. All right, that's a nice fish too. Look at him. That's a nice fish right there. I guess people aren't the only ones that like french fries. Let's get him back in the water. convincing stick <laughs> oh. oh man <laughs> oh I thought I had one convincing stick <laughs> oh. oh man little guy here all right guys got him on the french fry let's get him back in the water well guys i think i'm gonna wrap it up for today's episode and i'm doing that because i ran out of those worms which sounds bad but it was actually the uh, the whole point of this episode was i want i need to get rid of some of this stuff so was able to have a pretty successful day. I think I caught three or four. One of them was really nice. Um, that was that was really cool on that little French fry thing. But now that I've used all of the lures, you know what this means. <laughs> uh, I'll probably end up buying some more of those. But what I'll do is I will try to find something similar to what I was using and leave that information down in the description box. That way, if you want to try a French fry for yourself, you can find that information down there. But while you're down there finding that information, be sure that you subscribe to this channel and like it and share it with your friends. Man, this helps keep the channel alive. But it's getting hot. And I think I'm going to call it a day, but I'll be seeing you next week. This is Josh, and this is Abide Fishing. All right. What the heck is this? guys you know it wouldn't be a fishing video without a catfish